Good morning and welcome to Better Bones with me, Emma Healy from Way to Fitness. Now, Better Bones is a wonderful session that you are going to love that you can join me from a chair, seated position, or you can join in standing. Now, it's called Better Bones because it's designed for anyone who wants to get moving, but also for people who might have issues with their bone strength. So they could have osteoarthritis, osteo osteoporosis, osteopenia. And sometimes when you've got issues with your bones, you're a bit worried what to do and how to exercise. So we choose exercises that are going to improve your balance, your strength, your flexibility, and your aerobic fitness, but they don't put um, undue strain or pressure on your back. All right, that's really important. So if you are joining me in a chair, you will need to make sure your knees and your hips are at the same height, okay? This chair needs to be solid and strong, um, no wheels, okay? Now I've got my equipment at the side here, so I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, prior warning that it would be great for our strength session if you could maybe have some water bottles or light hand weights that you're going to hold in your hands. Now, if you've got any issues with your shoulders or wrists, you might just choose to join in doing the exercises, but without the weights, it's your call, okay? Um, so light hand weights. Do you have a peg that you could go and find? So we're going to be using a peg as well for strengthening our fingers. So it's a sort of peg with a metal spring in the middle, not a dolly peg. OK, so we'll use that later. And we're also going to use a woggle, which is like a roll of wrapping paper or maybe a very light rolling pin. That's quite fun to go canoeing with. All right. Now, just wear something easy to move in. You'll need trainers or close fitting shoes on your feet so that when we do our balance work, you are safe. OK, so check you've got a little bit of safe space to stand up in when we do our balance work um, and obviously a little bit of space around here. Move any coffee tables, flexors or rugs out of the way so you stay safe. All right. So we're going to put some music on. Uh, please join in at a level that's right for you today. Only you can feel what's comfortable and manageable. And obviously it's an online session. You do so at your own risk. Right. Let's get some tunes on. Okay, so if you're in your chair, please walk to the front part of your chair. And we're sitting with our feet a hip distance apart, shoulders back and down, all right? We're sort of drawing in and drawing up, a nice strong feeling around the centre. And all we're going to do to start with is a heel and toe tap on this side. We're going to go heel and toe. Brilliant. Two more. Well done. Now we're going to change foot, heel down first. Brilliant. Two more. Well done. Same again, but add a little arm curl in here. Two more. Brilliant. Now you're going to change leg. Keep your arms. Well done. Two more. Now we're going to do a heel dig out the front. So lengthen the leg forward, back on the toe. Just touching the floor, sitting tall. You're going to change sides. Heel and toe. Two more. Well done. Same again. Push the arms forward with your legs. Just you the tap on the shoulders. Two more. Brilliant. Now you're going to change legs. Two more. Now we're going to do a little side step out. The practice going over the cat and back. And we're keeping the ankle under the knee. Now you're going to change legs. Out. Two more. Now we're going to take the arms wide as we step out again here. Two more. Brilliant. Now you're going to change the leg. Keep the arms in. Two more. Now we're going to do a little knee lift. We're going to lift the knee up and down. Now as we lift and lower, I want you to sit up tall. Now change knees. You're really working on sitting up. Brilliant. Back to the first side. Add an arm going up. We're going to reach and tap the shoulders. And again. Brilliant. Now you're going to change leg. Reach and down. Two more. Now we're going to do a little V-step. So it's a V-step. It's out and out 
and back to the start again. Brilliant. Now you're going to change legs. One more. Well done. Two side steps, two knee lifts. Two side steps. Two knee lifts. Let's see how the arm in. The arm, add the arms in. Change sides. Two side steps. Two knee lifts. Run it so it's heel dig forward, push the arms. Forward and down. Two more. Run it. Now you're going to change legs. Now we're going to march for three and do a little kick. Here we go. We're going one, two, three. Kick. And as we kick, we stand up, we sit up tall. <laughs> and again. Now we're going to repeat that, but we're going to start on the left side this time. Little V step. So let's take the arms out. Brilliant. And again, push into the corners. Change sides. Brilliant. One more. Now it was two side steps, two knee lifts. Here we go. Two side steps, two knee lifts. Push the arms up. Brilliant. Change sides. Two knee lifts. Brilliant. Okay, four heel digs. Start with your left. Here we go. Forward. Tap on the shoulders. Two more. Brilliant. Now you're going to change sides. Great work. Two more. One, two, two, and a kick. Start with your left. One, two, three, kick. Now I'm adding some cheeky do it yourself arms here. Freestyle. Two more. One, two, three. Up. Last couple. Well done. You can have a rest now. So you can sit back in your chair, but keep those heels lifting and lowering gently so that your body, the, the blood still circulates. Now we are going to swap and move onto our roll of wrapping paper or our wobble because we can do so many different exercises when we've got something fun to play with. So you're relaxing, but I'll show you, we are going to go canoeing. So we'll hold the paddle at the top and at the bottom, all right? And we're just going to gently, so you can choose, are you going to just dig it in like you're on a gentle pond, or are you going to be digging it in harder because you're white water rafting? Your, your choice. Now, um, if you are standing, you can do me a little squat, okay? Um, as you dig your paddling. We'll do four on one side and four on the other. Then we're moving on to skiing. So for, for those of us sat down, we're going to reach the arms up as the heels lift, okay? And then they go, the heels go down. Of course, if you're standing, you can lift and again, do your little squat. Keep the back long and just lower the bottom down slightly. We will be stirring in both directions. Could be custard, could be porridge, it's your choice. Then we're going to go out centre and then go forwards and up. All right, so that's our next four moves. So come to the front half of your chair. We're sitting up tall, shoulders back, belly in. We're going to hold on to our paddle and we're going to go canoeing. Four on that side and four on that side. You can march to the bottom as well if you wish. Here we go. Four, one, two. Now change sides. Change again. And change. Now we're going to go skiing. Arms and heels are lifted. We're going up and down. Now you just lift the arms as high as is comfortable for you. Okay, four more. Now as we're stirring our custard, we are going to march on the bottom if you can. Here we go. We're going round and round and reverse brilliant again round we go and back so a little side pass is going that side they're going out and center take it forwards and up brilliant one more time take it out other side forwards and up brilliant now we're going to go canoeing down the left side first and here Brilliant. Change sides. So we're just canoeing, we're not twisting. Brilliant. Change again. 
and change. Well done, we're going to ski next. Arms and heels are lifting up and down. Three, brilliant. Okay, we've just got four more to go. Then it's that problem, what are we stirring? Shout out. Is it custard or porridge or something else? Round and round. Let's reverse. Could be chocolate sauce? <laughs> I don't know. Do it again. Around we go. Or a cheese sauce. It could be savoury ever. Of course it could. Side pass to the left. Here we go. Out. And centre. Forwards and up. Brilliant. Do it again. Out. And centre. Forwards and up. Okay, let's go canoeing one side more. On the right side, we're going here. Brilliant. Change sides. Brilliant. Change again. You're marching a bit hard on the legs. Good. And change. Okay, skiing. Heels and arms are lifting and a reach. And back. Reach. Good work. Okay, just four more. Plum season, actually. I've been skewing plums. <laughs> okay, we're going to stir, get going, and round. And round, river. You can't beat stewed plums. <laughs> Around we go, back the other way. And back. Okay, side pass, take it to your right. Keep marching, and side, and centre. Forwards and up. Brilliant. Let's do it one more time. And centre. Forward and up. Brilliant. Now you are going to pause. You can sit back in your chair. Whew, you can rest, but remember, keep those heels lifting and lowering. Okay, so I think what we're going to do next is we're going to find our peg. Okay, we'll find the peg, but we're not going to use it yet. I'm just going to pick it here. Okay, so I've got it. And we're just going to think about our hands and how important they are to keep them mobile. So I'm just going to turn the music down just a little bit. Okay. okay. So our hat, keeping our hands mobile and our fingers moving, very, very important for, um, for our independence and doing stuff we want to do. I understand that arthritis can make fingers feel achy, okay? So we want to keep them gently mobile. So let's start just by gently imagining we're playing the piano. And now we're just going to roll the fingers, yeah? Just keeping them gently moving. Brilliant. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do like finger puppets. So um, index finger and thumb are tapping together, then move to the middle finger. Brilliant. Then we're going to move to ring finger. Then we're going to move to little finger here. Brilliant. Let's go back to index and thumb. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Change fingers. Brilliant. Just little taps. Ring fingers. And little fingers. Well done. And pause. Brilliant. Should we put our palms together and just ease them over? You're only doing what's comfortable, remember? That's lovely. In our weekly class, we do lots of keeping everything gently moving. Classes are always online, so you can do it any time you like. Now, let's add the peg in, but we're going to half the speed, all right? Now, we're going to put the peg between the index finger and the thumb, and we're going to squeeze it. Four, three, two, brilliant. One, and four. Now, put it between your middle finger and your thumb, and we're going to squeeze it with four. Here we go. Ready, and squeeze, and squeeze. Brilliant. Squeeze. Good work. Short pause while you put it between your ring finger. This might need the help of the, of the little finger, you see. Let's do it four here. So we're going to go four, three. That's quite hard, especially my non-dominant hand. Okay, that's four there. Now it's little finger and the thumb. Can you squeeze that for four? Here we go. If you need the ring finger, it can help. That's fine. Four, three. 
two. And one. Well done. Just gently give that hand a, a rest. So I'm now swapping to the main hand I use, my, my dominant hand. Might find that easier. Peg goes between the index finger and the thumb. And we're just going to squeeze it for four slowly. Here we go. We're going four. Three. Two. One. Now take your time. Middle finger and thumb. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. The ring finger's trying to help there. Now it's the ring finger and the thumb. Here we go. Use the little finger if you need to. Two more. She's trying. I must have a very tough peg here. I can barely move it. Moving on to little finger. Ring finger could help if it needed to. Here we go. And four. Three. Two. One. And rest. Right here. That's a tough old peg today. So we've done a little bit of strength work using the peg, but also the valuable mobility work. Just tapping all of those fingertips to your thumb. Really good. Now, let us get our weight. Okay? So, you could use water bottles. 500 mils of water weighs half a kilo or just over a pound in old money. Whenever we're holding weights, we want to keep the hands and the wrists and the forearms straight. Okay, That keeps our wrists safe when we're working. Now you can do the exercises sat in your chair or stood up. I will do them in my chair, which is unusual for me, but I want to do it because I think you might be doing it in the chair. It's be easier for you to follow. So get your shoulders back and down. We're sitting up tall. Now I've got arms long down by the side and we're just going to bring the weights up to the shoulders and then lower them down slowly and slow is harder than fast so should we start with slow okay sitting tall five six seven and lift the two and down the two those elbows are staying in at the waist and again up the two one more brilliant and four. Now we're going to turn the palms so they're facing forward and we're going to bend the elbows and the arms at the elbows so we've made a tray with our forearms and we're going to go wide and back in. Now trays have to stay flat or you flop the content. Could be champagne or hot chocolate you choose. So keep those forearms flat as we go out and back in. Right, trays at the ready, palms up. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and out the two, and back the two. So this is a great exercise, obviously for your arms, but for your shoulders too. Physios might have given you this one. Okay, can you do me four more? Here we go, and out the two, and back the two. Brilliant. Keep your tray flat. Two more. One more. Well done. And rest. Put the weights down and gently wiggle the fingers. When you're gripping something, it can make hands ache. So always just do that little gentle wiggling the fingers between exercises. So we have done, we've worked the shoulders here and also we've done this one. So now we're going to have the arms long down by the side and we're just going to lift up the side slightly and come back down. In an ideal world, the highest we're lifting them is shoulder height. But if you're not used to working with weights, okay, keep it small and do what's manageable. So the shoulders are back and down, we're sitting tall, and we're going to lift the two and lower the two. Right, hands and wrists are straight. Five, six, seven, and lift the two and down the two. I always think with this one, it looks like I'm about to take off. <laughs> I'm an albatross. Brilliant. I'm going to keep those arms lifting, hopefully, to the same height. Four more. We're going four. Three. I'm looking at the camera. It's all back to front, which is quite fun for me. One more. I'm trying to get them at the same height. Brilliant. And four. Good. Now, that one works the shoulders nicely. We want to work the backs of the arms next. And I'm going to turn my chair so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm sitting up tall. 
Um, depending on the width of the back of your chair, I think I can do it. Yeah, just do one arm at a time. I'm sitting on just slightly towards one side of my chair so that when I lengthen my arm back, I'm not going to hit my elbow on the chair. I'm sitting up tall, so I take the elbow back and I lengthen and bend. Now, can you see that upper arm is not moving? Okay. It's staying still. So, I'm sitting tall, feet flat on the floor, one elbow back and lengthen this arm. Here we go. Back and bend. Brilliant. Just brushing the hips with the weight. Well done. Last two. Well done. And rest. Now, if you're on a slightly wider chair, make sure you're sitting slightly towards that side so that when you take your elbow back, you can lengthen that arm behind you. Let's sit tall. Here we go for eight. And eight. Seven. Upper arm, stay still. Brilliant. Four more. Last two. And rest well done. Now we're going to put those weights down and just roll the shoulders. Now we're going to do some balance work next. So we are going to come up to standing, okay? And we're going to use our chair as a support, which is really helpful, okay? So it's there if you need it. You can have a grippy touch if you're really nervous about being upright, light finger touch, or even a hover, or no contact at all. It's your choice. This is when we have got nice bit of space okay we're not going to kick anything and we've got but we've got our chair to hold on to we've got the shoulders back and down and we've got a nice strong feeling around the middle like you've got a belt on it's going to be tightened up to maybe a third or fourth notch at a time we hold the chair okay now we're just going to lift this heel up and stand tall and when you're ready we're just going to hover that foot so we're just going to hover it here and lift two three four and lower okay so you're going to change sides spread the weight evenly through this foot lift this heel okay brilliant here we go so we're going to go lift two three four and lower well down with those hips so we're going to get this progressively longer okay you're standing tall lift the heel lift the foot here we go and eight Seven, ooh, six, five, four, three, two, one. You see, don't assume everyone's got good balance. They haven't. We've just practiced and we work on it. Second side. Here we go. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and low. So did you wiggle? Did you wobble? I bet you did, just like me. Back to the first side. Now, if you're doing this, you can get Emma, I can do this easily. This is an alternative, which I'm just going to show you. You can lift that foot. And when we're holding, if you fancy, you can go point and flex. Point. So you can be adding in a little bit of extra if you want to. But it's your choice. I need you standing tall. Okay. Wait evenly through the foot on the floor. Okay. So we're going to lift that foot. And I'm going to count down. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rest the foot down. Move the hip. Second side, lift the heel, stand tall. Okay. Lift the foot. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two one and rest well done we're all doing well doing well okay now i'm going to move my chair out the way so you can see but we're going to do a little side step just watch first so we're going to do side step side step knee lift and then side side knee lift okay now you can have your chair in front okay you can do your side steps and your knee lift but I can't because you won't better see. All right. So move your chair to the front. Stand tall. Two side steps and a heel lift. So it's one, two. Heel lift or knee lift. 
brilliant. Let's do it again. Side step. Side step heel or knee lift. Brilliant. Let's do it again. Side step. Side step knee lift. Brilliant. Back again. Side. And make sure you're landing these heels as you're walking. Brilliant. Two more sets. Side. Side. And knee lift. Brilliant. Last time. Side. Side. And knee lift. Brilliant. Well done. So you can see what we do in a better bone session is hugely varied. We've got strength. We've got balance. We've got cardio. We're going to do a lovely stretch to finish. We're going to go back to our chairs. However, um, we're going to do a little standing stretch with the thighs first. So showing you side on. You're standing behind your chair. You're lovely and tall. Just bend the leg and bring the heel towards the bottom. Now this stretches your quads, which is in your thigh. We're standing tall. Brilliant. We lower that foot down. We change sides. Lift the other heel towards the bottom. We lower down. We're going to sit in our chair now. Excellent. Now, we are going to sit right back in our chair, feet flat on the floor, and we're sitting up tall. Okay? Feet are hip distance apart. We're going to relax those shoulders down, but we're sitting up. Okay? Now we're going to link the fingers together, okay, and just gently push the back of the hands forward, look down. We let go. We take the hands behind. Now I'm holding onto my chest, squeezing my elbows together for my chest stretch. So keep the shoulders relaxed as you squeeze the shoulder blades and elbows together. And a little shake. Feet stay flat on the floor. Hold on to the chair. We reach up. Keeping the bottom on the chair, we just ease over for one, two, three. We come up. We lengthen first and reach over for one, two, and three. Brilliant. Let's change sides. Hold the chair. Reach up. Bottom is deep in the chair and we come over for one, two, three. Three. Should be feeling a nice side stretch here. Reach and over. Brilliant. Well done. And just roll those shoulders. Now we're just going to do a very gentle turn. So bottom is in the chair. Both hands on this knee, but we're turning that way. So that hand is on the top. We sit tall. And then as we gently turn, this hand travels from the knee to the hip. Okay, allowing us to start, sit up tall and then back to the start. Just do it if it's comfortable. Sit tall and gently turn. And back to the start. So we change knees, but because we're going that way, that hand goes on the top. Sit tall and turn. Brilliant. Back to the centre again. Sit tall and turn. Well done. Now we're going to come to the front half of the chair now. So the bottom's on the chair, but most of the thigh isn't. And we're just going to lengthen the legs straight out the front. So we've got a straight line from the thigh to the knee to the ankle. And we start by bringing the foot up so we flex the foot. Okay, now by flexing the foot, you get a nice calf stretch. That's it. Can you feel a calf stretch? I hope so. Now we're going to put both hands on this knee. We're going to sit tall and then just moving from the hips, we're easing forwards, okay? Keeping the back nice and long. And as we do that, we keep the chin and chest up and we feel a stretch on the back of the leg. Excellent. Okay, so again, we come up to sitting, sit tall and ease forward. Fantastic, well done. Now, we're going to change legs. Bring that one in, lengthen here. The leg is straight, straight line. The foot is flexed. We are sat tall. That's it. Hands on the bent knee. We come up tall first, easing forwards. Feel that gorgeous stretch. Brilliant. Again, so come up, sit tall, 
and ease forwards. Fantastic. Now, bring that leg in, sit further back in your chair so you're safe. Um, we're just going to take it, do a little arm stretch. Take one arm in front and then bring it in towards the body to help it in with the hand or the elbow. That's it. Well done. Second side, arm in front, bring it in towards the body. Okay. Help it with the hands or the elbow. Feel that shoulder stretch. Brilliant. And then relax. Big breath in as you reach up. Breathe out as you come down and give yourself a massive well done. So shout if you'd like to get more details about our online sessions. But start from the price of a coffee a week. 375 a week. You get emailed all the links so you haven't got to look for them on Facebook. And you can join me for um, regular weekly sessions to keep you active and feeling great. Thanks for your time today. Can't wait to get your feedback. What were you stirring? Was it custard, sauce, or, or custard, or porridge? Let me know. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.